What's up YouTube? Today we'll be doing a review and overall setup for what I did for my Aeros XB250 race sport quadcopter, something like that. The um, actual name will be linked in the description, it's just kind of long so I don't remember the actual official name of it. Um, so in this video I'll briefly talk about the electronics I'm running on it, what modes I fly in, that kind of thing. I so let's start with um, start with the motors because those are pretty important. Um, I am running Multistar Elite 2300 um, 2204 motors. I'm not sure if you can see that really, but that's what I'm running for motor wise. Um, if you watched one of my other videos where I said they failed, that is incorrect. That was the spinners came off, and my solution to fix that were these little lock nuts. They're from Ready Made RC. They're in clockwise and counterclockwise. They are, um, they do have the nylon in them so they do lock on there quite nicely. You do need a um, tool to get it off but it's worth it. Um, I have not had a prop fall off since because they don't really come off quite easily. But then to props I'm using the Surveil Zone Indestructible. I've broken a few now. But they bend a lot. And they just kind of bend back to place and they should be okay. They're harder to break than most props. They are not indestructible by any means, though. You can break them. Um, so that's motor and prop-wise everything. These are 5.4s, by the way. Um, FPV-wise, I'm running a transmitter from Hobby King. Not sure if you'll be able to see that. But that's the, that's the one I'm using. Um... Yeah, sorry, you can't really see that. GoPro's got a delay, so it's a little hard with the app. But it's the FT951 25 milliwatt um, race band, so I can use them with fat sharks. I'm using some cheap $8 antenna. That doesn't work so great, but that might just be from crashes. Um, the real official fat shark ones, Immersion RC, whatever they're actually called, those work better than the cheap $8 ones, but for racing, it doesn't matter that much because you're not going far. Um, I am using a CC3D board, the inside, pull that strap by the way, the inside up in here, that is a CC3D board behind those wires, on the other side, um, the board next to it right up here, that is my, um, that is my XR8 long range receiver for, um, Tyrannus, but uh, you don't have to use long range, there are definitely better ones for quads, but this is the one I had to use, so that's what I'm working off of. Um, surveil zone camera up in the front. Um, that's about it electronics wise. I have flown this, this frame can take quite a beating, I've crashed it a lot more than I'd like to you know, actually say, but haven't broken anything. The power distribution board, I've ripped a few wires off of, but that's not hard to fix. You just resolder it. Um, I like this frame. It's definitely worth the money. And it is an upgrade from my last one, if you guys have watched in order. Um, it does have the upgraded um, power distribution board, because the other one didn't have it. The two plated arms. This is, there are multiple models with the power distribution board. I do not know off the top of my head which model this is but that will be in the description also. Um, battery wise I'm running Lumineer 1300 and those work pretty well. I have three minute flight times I think roughly keeping it within the safe range and then I have my Turnigy A-Spec 1800. I'm getting roughly three and a half minutes of flight time. I do not fly with my GoPro on anymore, as you can probably tell from the last few videos. I fly with the DVR to save weight, but I still get video off of it. The DVR runs off the side of my Fat Shark goggles up in here. If anybody was wondering us what that jack is for, it's for video out. But I fly using Fat Shark goggles. I love them. I find it easier to fly than using a screen, but that's my opinion. So I think I covered everything with this review and kind of what I fly. I normally fly, I'm starting to fly more in race mode, or rate mode, my bad. It is, I find it more fun and a lot actually easier to fly faster than in auto level. 
but I have it set down to defaults for the CC3D so it's easier to manage. Um, so that I think covers everything. If you, I missed anything, please put it in the description and or comments. My bad, and I will get back to you on it. Thanks for watching.